debt to equity ratio is a measure of a company's financial leverage calculated by dividing its total liabilities by stockholders' equity. It indicates what proportion of equity and debt the company is using to finance its assets. Take Average Joe and Super Steve, for instance. Average Joe and Super Steve both arrive at the Bank of Investopedia looking for a loan for each of their businesses. Average Joe and his loan officer review his financial documents. Joe's balance sheet shows assets of $120,000, liabilities or debt of $100,000, and shareholders' equity of $20,000. Average Joe's loan officer divides Joe's liabilities by the shareholders' equity and calculates that Joe's debt-to-equity ratio is 5. Super Steve and his loan officer do the same thing. After reviewing Steve's balance sheet, they note that Super Steve has assets of $150,000, liabilities of $50,000, and equity of $100,000, leaving his debt-to-equity ratio at 0.5. A high debt-to-equity ratio generally means that a company's been aggressive in financing its growth with debt. This can result in volatile earnings due to the additional interest expense. In Joe's case, the cost of this debt financing may outweigh the return that the company generates on the debt through investment and business activities and become too much for the company to handle. Therefore, his loan officer saw his application as a risk and declined him. Just like the loan officers examined Average Joe's and Super Steve's debt to equity ratio, you should do the same when deciding which companies to invest in. Always keep in mind that buying shares in a company with a higher debt to equity ratio is more of a risky investment. Check out more educational videos at investopedia.com.